Hey, we always live Elvis. Hey, Memphis Mafia Kid and... And Teresa. Hey, y'all, just want to start out saying we're down here still in Orange Beach. I wanted to get y'all a video, but uh, we're having a blast. And, of course, when we get done with this video, uh, we're going to do our favorite thing. Teresa's favorite thing. <laughs> Shopping. Wait, whose idea, whose idea was it? Once again. Who said? Because I said it's going to be a relaxed day. Shopping. And you said, once again. let's go back to Alvin's. <laughs> but anyway, y'all, hey, uh, it's been relaxed and it's been wonderful. The only the only thing I, I miss is uh, having mom and dad with us like we did last year. But I'm sure they're probably getting a little rest and relaxation without oh, us. Yeah, but yeah. Uh, and, and, you know, they just didn't want to this year. But. We're, we're having a good time. So with that, hey, we got some questions to get into with y'all, so let's... Okay, this one is from Howard Moses. If Elvis had a son, what do you think his name would be? I know that it would be something... I got a great one. Elvis Jr., we call him EJ. <laughs> no, uh, honestly, I mean, you know, I don't know. It... it uh, it would be something that would fit and it would be... Uh, it would have been a strong name. Like, yeah. Like yours. He's yeah, it'd be, name, it'd, be, so. uh, it'd be really cool. So yeah. uh, Masculine name. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, Stefan. What was your favorite song you saw Elvis do on stage? My favorite... I mean, you know, you gotta love them all, y'all, but uh, probably was the uh, concert in Memphis... Uh, and uh, when he did American Trilogy, I mean, it just, you know, it, it's just something about the, 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 the song itself, Southern song, and it's just, but even listening to it, uh, you know, now, just, uh, it's still, it still, it, it just, it does me, it hypes me up. So that, but that would, that would be my all time favorite seeing, you know, seeing him on stage perform. Okay, Tina Kent, what is y'all's top three Elvis songs? And you can't say all of them. Well, mine's trying to get to you. All of them, no. Uh, um, go ahead. Devil in Disguise and the Hawaiian Wedding Song. Yeah, I missed the first one. What was your first one? What was my first one? Trying to get to you. Okay, yeah. Trying to get to you, yeah. Devil, in, yeah. in, Devil in Disguise yeah. and, and yeah. the Hawaiian Wedding Song. Uh, and, of course, mine uh, would be, uh, man, you know, it's so hard, but... I would say, you know, because I've said it before, and it it's, just seems like my song, of course, Danny Boy. Uh, oh, I like that. And, of course, uh, Trying to Get to You, because that's mine and Teresa's favorite Elvis song together. It just, uh, we, we listened to it when we were dating and stuff. And then uh, my third top, you know, like I said, there's so many. But I'm going to go with, with Burning Love, because it just, it's that upbeat, just... You know, and, and of course, you know, that's what I'm always saying to Teresa because that's what she thinks I am, just a hunk of, hunk of burning love. Mm -mm -mm. Mango Margo, this is for me. Does your family live close to y'all? My dad's still alive, and he lives in Tupelo, so he's the closest. You're right, and, yeah. uh, of course, with the... Uh, with with mom and daddy, yes, uh, we're They're a all, couple hours away. Yeah, uh, yeah. hour and forty five minutes, two hours, and, yeah. and of course we go up uh, at least every uh, two weeks. If if and sometimes we'll you know we'll go back to back uh, weekends in a row. And like Teresa said, you know, with her daddy, he's only 10, 15 minutes away. And uh, you know when I'm not working or something, I'll go. But uh, she goes over there several times a week and. Uh, you know, spend some time and, and check Wayne. Yeah, y'all know how we feel about family, so family's everything. Speaking and talking on that, hey, reach out, share times with your family. Time's too short. Enjoy every minute that you can. Yep. Okay, I'm gonna try to pronounce this right. You know, you're writing and all that. Martha Descoto. What about the rumors that Elvis and family are not really buried at Graceland? What about it? It's just uh I'm gonna be nice and not say any <laughs> words today, but just just what it is, just rumor. I mean, you're gonna, and y'all know that. I mean, there's gonna be so many rumors and so much bull crap that that gets strode. Always has and always will. But no, they're all up at Graceland, and and you know that's that's where they're buried. So I mean, 
But each his own. I mean, you know, if you want to believe different, so be it. <laughs> well, there's always rumors about everything. Sure. Everything sure. is going to be a rumor sure. about something. Okay. Uh, Jeff Young. <laughs> All right, What's Danny. The Danny and Teresa, which do you prefer, hot dog or hamburger? <laughs> well, I already know the answer for both of us because uh, <laughs> rarely once in a while do we ever. I'm going to hamburger. Uh, between those two, uh, unless it's a sausage, right? I, yeah, I was yeah, gonna say instead that. Instead of right. a hot dog, but hot just dog. a plain hot dog, uh, we will. But after in, in the in the later years, I just, uh, I mean, if it's grilled on the grill and, and I like mine burnt or fried in a skillet, uh, pretty much kind of burnt, uh, I'll eat it. But I don't care much uh, for, I don't hot care for dogs. the hot dog, yeah. just a regular uh, hot dog. Has to be like a broad yes. or Italian now, sausage or something like that. Uh, I am a big, you know, sausage, Italian sausage, uh, Polish sausage, you know, Cajun style, just all different. I, you know, I, hey, I'll put your favorite down in the comments. Yeah, let's see. Yeah, tell us what y'all yeah. like: hot dog, hot dog or hamburger. hamburger. Also, too, uh, you know, and uh, uh, the only people that eat it in, in the family is. Uh, me and Danielle both, but we love boudin. Matter of fact, bought some for the trip. Probably gonna have some tonight. But love, love the boudin. Mm -hmm. I wish I could say it like the like the cake. Boudin. 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 All right, Jenkins Jenkins. I saw recently where Riley was going to make some changes around Graceland. What do you know? I don't know any more than 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 y'all. Just what I, I, I've seen and read and heard. But I will say this. I I, I hope and I think. That finally, of, of some of the dreams that I had that Graceland may be, I think there's a chance, y'all, that she is going to turn it and maybe make it uh, what it should be for for the Elvis family, which is you fans uh, that made Elvis. Uh, you know, I've heard some great ideas. Uh, you know, making it uh, a little more uh, handicap accessible, which you know that'd be, that'd is, is always a great thing. Uh, Doing different things that, that's uh, not so costly, uh, and maybe you know having. To, I even heard that there might be some uh, uh, free events or times in there. Now, that'd don't be. quote me on. Like I said, I don't know. That's her. But oh. you know, oops, technical difficulty. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it happens. <laughs> Camera's closed off on us. Okay, Shirley Romer, what were some of Elvis's favorite things to do when Lisa was home? He, uh, of course, he loves, you know, spend uh, private quality time, just just the two of them, uh, you know, talk and teach her things and all. And then, of course, you know, doing things, I mean, you know, she had, we had the golf course and all that. But, uh, you know, wanted to go to the movies, he would uh, rent out the movie theater, uh, take her shopping, uh, just like I said, like any other, uh, it's hard to say any other father, but... Uh, do things uh, Elvis style. Let's put it like that. But yeah, they they loved and enjoyed uh, all the all the time they got to spend together. And, and uh, I mean, we all did. You know, it's it's uh, it's memories that just will always always be inside you. Okay. Last question is from Ashley M. Last question, Ashley last M. Question. If you ever had the chance to be in one of Elvis's movies as a child. Would you have done it? You damn skippy. <laughs> Man, you wouldn't even have thought about it twice. <laughs> I, I, look, and I can't state it enough. Maybe, uh, you know, and I don't uh, sound like the swollen, but, you know, from the time I was big enough to know, anything Elvis or Elvis related, I wanted to be there. <laughs> what movie would you, if you could have chosen the movie you were in, which one would it have been? Oh, it did, no doubt. What? Uh, Viva Las Vegas. Yeah. And the reason being because Ann Margaret. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I'd have been. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, but, I, you know, you say that, but, I mean, a lot of them, you yeah. know. Uh, of course, I've always thought it like Western, so Charo, you know, would have been. Mm -hmm. Would have been. Or it happened hey, the world's been fair. Little, I could have been, been a little kid fair. gunslinger. Oh, Lord. <laughs> You already think you are one. <laughs> oh, me, y'all. Hey, look, we appreciate all the questions. We love each and every one of y'all. And, hey, 
Y'all enjoy y'all's time because we're going to enjoy the rest of ours. Yes. And we'll see y'all in a couple of days. We always <laughs> live Elvis. I got you. <laughs> I'm on vacation. Okay, let's do it together. Okay. What do we always say? We always, always live, live Elvis. Elvis. <laughs> <laughs>